Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Mira Alexander and I worked as a project manager for the Hanse Parliament on the project New Entrepreneurs. It was a pleasure working with this very motivated and engaged consortium of partners for the last three years. The project consists of multiple very interesting building blocks, some of which you have already seen in the past videos. And I will now go into detail onto the entrepreneurship education that we have developed in this project. So first of all, the question, why do we actually need a new framework for entrepreneurship education? As you can see here, we do have two sides of bottlenecks. On the one hand, we have the quantitative bottlenecks of a large and growing shortage of young entrepreneurs, mainly due to demographic reasons. We have less and less young people entering the market and more and more people um, retiring. On the other hand, we also have the qualitative bottlenecks, meaning that the people who are there are actually lacking the skills and abilities uh, to properly carry out these business transfers. These uh, skills are mainly lacking in the fields of human resources and training of young talent, business administration, corporate leadership, as well as innovation capacity. So to eliminate these bottlenecks, we have developed a new framework of um, entrepreneurship education. And we have taken a couple of things into account. These are mainly the great regional uh, differences and national peculiarities in uh, legal conditions, but also in entrepreneurship uh, tradition. Then there are also different um, individual preferences, education backgrounds, interests, but also time and money constraints of entrepreneurs. These are very busy people and they don't like to waste <laughs> their time on entrepreneurship training. And lastly, we also need to develop a framework that encourages strong learners to do vocational training because many strong learners are going to the university to follow an academic path, but we do want to encourage them to also come and do vocational training. So we developed a step-by-step -step model of entrepreneurship education and implemented it in various countries. The goal was to address a new target group and attract as many as them as entrepreneurs. We wanted to correspond to the different national conditions as well as individual preferences. And we also wanted to obtain outstandingly qualified entrepreneurs for the SMEs of Europe. The result is this funnel or downward facing pyramid of entrepreneurship training. It starts with more basic levels on the bottom, like an entrepreneurship certificate or a commercial specialist. It goes further up to master craftsman and technician, but very importantly, it also includes um, higher education stages, such as dual bachelor programs. Uh, in the project, we have realized the bottom two stages, but I will go into more details later on. First, I would like to present to you more um, the, the intricacies of this downward facing pyramid of entrepreneurship training. So the idea is that each stage actually concludes with an officially recognized exam so that each participant at the end of every stage has an official paper in his or her hand that can be shown to employers, employment agencies or whomever to prove what the participant has learned and accomplished. Then the skills, so the learning outcomes, but also the, um, the credits earned can be transferred across stages, but also very important across borders because it is a standardized unified framework. The participants can select which stage they want to start on, depending on what they already know and what they're interested in. And the stages itself are also structured in a very modulized fashion, so that not all modules have to be taken by the participants in order to, um, in the end, do the examination. This uh, very individual focus is great because it encourages lifelong learning, but it also incentivizes strong learners to come and do this entrepreneurship training. So in the end, we have an outstanding qualification as well as recruitment of entrepreneurs. As I've mentioned before, we have realized the first two stages in the project. So the entrepreneurship certificate we realized in Austria. It is called in German the Unternehmerführerschein, which, which directly translates to the entrepreneurship driver's license. 
and it is an examination of four modules, but each module is examined individually. So if you don't pass um, module A, it doesn't mean that you cannot continue with mod module B. Each module in itself uh, makes sense and can be tested on, and so it really helps to keep people engaged and not frustrate them. The examination is carried out by the Austrian Federal Economic Chamber, so it has a very high degree of recognition. In our project, we um, adapted the curriculum a bit to fit the target group, but the examination was then carried out in a standardized manner by the chamber, meaning that there is a very high degree of recognition. Here you can see the modules. Um, module A is focused on microeconomic basics, so going into the economic cycles and the market, um, payment, the career path, and entrepreneur. Then in module B, macroeconomic basics, it's more about external trade, money, state, budget, and the national economy. In module C, we go into entrepreneurship education, uh, meaning going into the details of how to fu um, fund and start a company, how to take over a company, how to do proper marketing and a business plan. And uh, module up, the entrepreneurship examination is probably the most comprehensive and difficult one, going into accounting, taxation issues, uh, bookkeeping, corporate finance and law. Then um, the second stage we also realized in this project in Hungary and in Italy. This is the stage to become a commercial specialist. The curriculum was developed specifically for this project and it is quite extensive. So it has three parts with a total of eight modules divided into the introductory core and elective modules. I would really like to highlight the elective modules here because it focuses on social networks and that is a very um, important part we believe for the target group we're dealing with here. Because if you leave your country, you don't just leave your home, but you leave your entire social um, circle, your networks and your contacts behind. And this is something that is very important, especially when you want to become an entrepreneur. Um, the curriculum, as I said, is very extensive and very long. It can go up to 740 hours. But, but as all the other programs that are pro yeah, programs that are also part of this um, education framework, it is structured in a modulized way. So that means that not all the modules have to be taken in order to, um, to do the examination in the end. And uh, we have also incorporated two to three longer internships that has multiple reasons. On the one hand, we do believe that practical learning is crucial and important for everyone because you can't learn all the intricacies of how to be an entrepreneur just by studying the theoretical aspects, but you need to do it on the job. But then it is also especially important for our target group of the refugees or migrants, because maybe some have problems learning in school or in class because of language barriers, but maybe they also already know things, but they can't express it because of the language barrier again. Uh, so there the internships can really help. And lastly, as I've mentioned before, with the contacts and social um, circles, this is a way, the internships are a way for our target group to uh, create new connections, build up relationships and get to know people in the field. You can do two examinations with this, um, with this training. If you complete module seven, you can do the examination to become an officially recognized instructor. That is something that is very important if you live, for example, in Poland or in Germany, because it allows you to then later on in your career also train young people. And if you complete all modules, you can do the official examination to be a commercial specialist. Like all the other modules, because um, it is quite individually focused. Uh, the, the participants can also do this training in part time or take breaks in between. In our project, we have done these two programs that I've just outlined. Um, in Austria, we conducted the entrepreneurship certificate with 15 refugees. And in Italy, we did the commercial specialist with 22 refugees. And in Hungary, we also did the entrepreneur, no, the commercial specialist uh, with 22 locals and foreigners. After doing this, we have revised all our uh, materials according to the feedback we have received. And um, these are now available on our website, or you can email us and we'll send them to you. 
of course free of charge. But that is not all. Uh, we do have materials for all the stages available free of charge for everyone. So you can go to our website hanseparlament.eu or send us an email. Thank you very much for your kind attention and um, I wish you all the best.